Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. Hey. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Ebert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Retuckus TR604. It's an AM FM portable radio. I purchased this radio off of Amazon for a total of $27.99 shipped to my door. Here's the box it came in. Pretty basic fare, nothing special about it. There's a little note here on the side. They ship it in either 110 volts or 220 volts, which is nice. And on the back, they have the Chinese address, the Facebook, the email, and their website. So there you go. That's about it. Now inside, they did pack the radio with two styrofoam end caps and some plastic uh, protection to protect the radio on its journey to my home. So I'm going to set this box aside. We're going to lower this camera down and show what came inside the box. Power cord, since mine's 110 volts, that's what mine looks like for US use. There you go, polarized plug, pretty simple appliance cord. Most of these radios come with those, like the Sony 506 and others. Next we have, bring this out, the manual. Yeah, it's just one sheet here. Retech is TR604. There's more warnings on this thing than user instructions. <laughs> There's actually a funny one in here too, it's a warning. Okay, here we go, function parts. Okay, if we can figure this out together, I'm sure. Um, where was it? Where was that little, there's like a little warning in here. RF exposure information. How I did not know we had to worry about RF warnings for a radio that doesn't transmit. So I don't think you have to worry about that stuff. <laughs> um, do not operate the transmitter. So yeah. <laughs> okay, this radio does not transmit, by the way. Just letting you know, it does not. Okay. So pretty simple instructions, though, why they have so many warnings, I have no idea. Here's some more in case you want to know. Notice. Okay. And more warnings. <laughs> Toss that aside. Okay, let's get to the radio. Here it is, front and center. Okay. So let's go ahead and go over dimensions real quick, and then we'll talk about the radio. Uh, dimensions, we have 8 and 3 quarters. That includes the tuning knob on the side here for length. Our height is 5 and 3 quarter inches. And our depth is three inches, and that includes the front volume knob there. So I'm measuring from the back of the case to that knob here, not this handle right there for three inches. Okay. All right, for size comparison, yeah, I gotta bring this back up because I got some big radios to put next to it. So let's see how high we can get this camera. All right, let's press go. We're gonna get, um, I have the recently reviewed Tactung Industries. I know it's some weird name. Um, this is the JP01. The reason why I brought this one out is it's AC powered and D cell powered, just like this Retecus is. That gives you an idea for size comparison. The speaker may be larger in there. It looks like it might be very close. Okay, it gives you an idea of, of size. All right. And then, yeah, it's pretty blinding there with that light. Okay. And let's grab a familiar radio, which you guys all remember. It is the Sony ICF19. Here we go. Back to blinding you guys again with that light. There you go. There's the Sony. And we're going to lift this one up. Do an edge on since that's easy to do. It's about the same thickness there. No handle. They give you a carry strap for the Sony. There's reasons why I'm showing these different radios. But there you go. Okay. And I'm going to bring this camera back down. And we're going to leave these radios here on the side just in case I want to tune them to kind of compare them to this radio. So I'm bringing this back down here. I'm going to throw Iron Man on top of this radio, give you an idea. Deck of cards, how big that looks. Yeah, this the handle just flips back. doesn't really stow away too, just like that. Kind of has a little kickstand to it, which I like. <laughs> It'll be good for the review. Uh, so first of all, let's go over features. Uh, let's see, where's Retechus? It has really weird, uh, it has like a high gloss, which is a fingerprint magnet. And it has a matte finish. I wish it would have went matte finish across the whole thing. I know I understand they're going for style, but uh, it looks ugly after a while touching it. Uh, front of the radio here, we have a nice dial. See, I like this dial. Real easy to read. It's got a nice orange indicator there, dial indicator. Uh, it's got a log scale there in the middle. You can see the different uh, FM. We have 88 to 108 and AM. They have 520 to 1710. I do like that uh, dial. I think it's really nice. 
you get their information here, TR604, Retechus, and then with a power LED indicator, it turns red when the radio is on. Over here, we have about a three and a quarter inch speaker. I kind of estimated it, don't know how far back it goes into the case, but it looks about three and a quarter inches. On the front here, we have a volume knob. It came a little scratched on mine, um, it's just from the factory, because probably because it sticks up, it probably bumped a few things on the assembly line. Uh, here we have the FM AM band select, and we have a high low tone control. The thing about this radio is that this is good only in low. In high, it sounds awful, and I'll try to demonstrate that, but low is where you're going to have it most of the time uh, on AM and FM. So there's just no doubt about it. Uh, right hand side here, we have the tuning wheel for the, of course, tuning the radio. And we have the headphone jack. Headphone jack's interesting. Talk about that. The headphone jack. It's pretty flat and neutral on FM, so it doesn't sound fantastic with FM. There's no stereo. It's mono both ears, uh, so don't expect any stereo. Um, it is, like I said, it's flat on the FM, very neutral, uh, not very exciting with headphones. Uh, AM, it gets worse. Uh, it sounds very muddy, very muffled sounding. Didn't like it. And this radio is prone to a certain issue on AM band. It has a crackling sound, and hopefully I can recreate this um, when you're tuning through the AM band. There's a, something in the circuit causes a crackle. And I thought first that was a speaker, but it's not because that crackling comes through the headphones too. So using headphones with this thing just isn't what you want to do. So but we'll talk about the highs and lows on this radio as we go. Uh, top here we have the handle, which just flips pretty simple and basic. Here's the antenna. It swivels 360, but it stops right here. Otherwise, it would keep going continuously. Um, and this extends out to 24 inches, so it's not bad for FM reception. Turns to the back of the radio. Uh, we have a little symbol there, Retechus. It just kind of looks like it's painted on there. Uh, it takes 3D batteries. It gives the band information, made in China again. AC input for that AC cord. There you go, it's in the back. Um, I actually like that in the back, just because that's how I have my setup. But a lot of people would probably like it from the side, like the Sony. Um, on the 506, it goes through the side. Um, it just does for you. If you have a shelf and you want the back of the radio nice and flush against, like say, a kitchen shelf, that probably works the best. But this is better if you're hanging a cord off the table of a desk at work or something like that. Let's go open this up here. This is the battery compartment. Okay. And it has three D cell batteries to power it with the battery uh, option. Three Ds are going to last you quite a long time with this radio. They didn't give you an actual runtime, but I'm going to guess a few hundred hours easily. All right. We're going to flip this back around the front. We're going to talk about FM reception. We'll do a little audio test. And then we'll talk about the AM reception, and then we'll do a cruise to the AM band at night and see what we can hear. So FM reception report. I like to give an FM reception report on radios like this uh, because I can't really tune through the music stations because of copyright issues. Um, we'll leave it at that. So FM reception, I base it on five tiers. We have uh, fair, okay, good, very good, and excellent. Most radios fall in the middle between okay and good, which is about 48 stations I find on a typical analog receiver. Now this receiver is not analog, it has an analog gauge, but this is a DSP radio. So there's a DSP chip, you'll hear stepping on the FM for sure. AM, it's kind of different sounding, stepping, you'll hear it. Uh, but it's definitely a DSP chip handling the tuning capability of this radio. Uh, tend, you tend to get better FM results. I got about 60 stations, which rates this radio at a three star rating at good. So above average, above an analog radio, like a, say a basic Sony you know, ICF24 or 38, you know, those models where they're just pure analog. This does a little bit better than those, but just slightly better. The FM selectivity was located good. I would have rated that higher, but the problem with the FM selectivity on here was when you found a strong station, it would carry over quite a bit on the dial. So people call it false peaking. Yeah, there's a lot of peaks to the same station. So you'll have six or seven steps of the same station and you're missing out in between. So it tends not to be as selective uh, as far as finding fainter stations that way. It just overpowers the dial. Uh, so there it is. So three star on the, on the sensitivity and two star on the selectivity. So giving it, what is that, two and three quarter star rating. So, okay, let's go ahead and turn this on. Should have Radio Tadabert playing. Power indicator. Okay, so what I do is I use an FM transmitter 2, a C-Crane. And what it does, it's hooked up to an iPod that's playing YouTube download music, royalty free. So I can transmit to this radio to play music so you can get a demo of what it sounds like. Turn this up. I'm gonna cycle a few songs and then we'll get right to the medium wave.
six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Excuse me. What this sounds like. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Go ahead and turn off all my other things here, and we'll hit the medium wave and talk about that. Set some switches and turn some things off. Okay, great. Turns to AM. All right. So right away, before I get started, uh, medium wave band or AM band. Uh, for those who don't know what medium wave is, it means it means AM band in America here. Um, so the big deal is. Uh, FM is decent to listen to. I like I like this radio for FM. I think this radio is pretty good on FM. Um, I won't knock it. Uh, this, the rating was really good. The sound was really good coming out of there. The stations I found, uh, there were no crackling issues. I talked about crackling issues with headphones, and there's an issue with the medium wave on this radio. It's not exciting to listen to AM stations on here, and it's unfortunate. Um, I don't think this is defective. I think this is the way it's going to be. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll turn it on and give some examples. We'll tune through at the bottom of the dial here. We're not going to go for any crazy distance because I'm going to actually bring out the Sony and I might bring out that Tech Tune, tune those radios to kind of show you the differences. Uh, and we'll try to recreate problems I was running into with this radio during the day and evening. So it wasn't just an evening thing or a daytime thing. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And the static you hear is generated from the circuit. It's not from lightning. There's no storm activity anywhere right now in the country. It's pretty uh, clear skies. So we are going to just tune this. And it's constantly challenged by angry atheist groups. And just recently the Supreme Court um, dismissed the challenge to In God. This is 560 WIND Chicago. Three minutes. And it kind of gives you the history, the legal challenge. Six twenty Milwaukee WTMJ. This is CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, which is uh, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. As you can hear, it sounds, doesn't sound spectacular. It has this weird, um, yeah, I don't know what kind of sound to call that. Comes into it. And you hear pops of uh, like crackling there. Okay, I think this jumped right to 650 WSM, Nashville, Tennessee. I'm here to tell you now. Wong would deserve half of that error oh, for yeah. not blocking the ball and keeping it on the infield. The WSCR, the score, Chicago. It's just that simple. Way outside to Ian Happ. He First off, you know, if, if somebody throws it ahead of a matter, then every person ought to be able to tell you out going over there. And then headed for second is Jay. And that's going to be an infield single, I believe. Well, that run was going to score. Hey, she's bigger than both of us, too. Yeah. Oh, this 
Cooper, I admired you for years. Each little lamb chop you bought, I personally put the pants on. <laughs> This is 740. Redhead. Zoomer Radio, have an old time radio, which is pretty cool. This is uh, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles away. Listen, two houses may have red roofs, but you don't pick the one with the sagging foundation. <laughs> I don't know about Mr. Barr. I really don't. I don't yeah. know what he's doing. But he reminds me of... 760 WJR. Oh, let's just forget it and move on. I am... Or credit card? Well, for the first time ever, you can boost your credit scores in... 780 WBM Chicago. Experian Boost. Raising your credit scores with... Experian. Development of children and families in Windsor, Essex. Proceeds will go towards making the center ex... At the end of the time, 9.56 p.m. Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois. This is 800, I believe. I heard him say Canada. This is a CKLW, Windsor, Ontario, 270 miles away. From the AM800 Weather Center, partly cloudy to start this evening, clearing later on, an overnight low of 13. Thursday, August 1st, mainly sunny, a high of 28. The making it feel like 31. Go away. I guess. I'm sure that if they get this one guy, that they were absolutely destined to make a decent out there and hang in there, America. We shall overcome. And see you tomorrow. God bless. Résultat de cet homme-là uh, qui s'est qui s'est fait élire. CJPC, Toronto, Ontario. Popularité. Donc, dans ses, dans ses comportements, euh, il y a beaucoup de succès. Et ça, ça fait moins euh, uniquement impulsif. Mais ça, il y a un ça, calcul. Il y a un calcul. Et ça n'a pas été exclusivement un ou l'autre. C'est souvent complexe. Un retro big man in this league dominating. I'd be down for that. Big man guy, right? Now, remember who that nation is. If you're ready to rally. So that's how a faint station comes in a kind of flutters in like that. Pro.com or call 800 go certa That's certa with a C. sounds like a chaotic mess a little bit um just not really impressed um that's just me personally you guys might like how it's working but for me yeah not so much uh and like i said i'll bring a couple other radios out to show you a mind is a terrible thing to waste but a wonderful thing to invest in brought to you by you and council when i grow up i want to be a new pair of Well, this is good, WBZ, which is uh, pretty far. Uh, it's 880 miles away. in Boston at 11 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Don Huff. Here's what's happening. The second and final Democratic presidential debate in Detroit comes to an end. Former VP... News, our top local story this hour. A Des Moines woman's accused of attacking two young teens... WHO, Des Moines, Iowa. Sue Danielson reports 30-year-old Rashina... <laughs> We have uh, U.S. citizens to folks that are not U.S. citizens. Outside to Dexter Fowler. So if that station isn't coming in super clear, super strong, it's going to sound crummy. So and it's kind of uh, very difficult to listen to as it fades in and fades out and fade back in. Strength call. 86 mile an hour pitch on the inside corner to do something for them in their lives. And former HUD Secretary Julian Castro said... 
is a racist. And that was just... Let me go up to the top of the dial here, and then we'll bring out the other radios. Del High sounds awful on AM. You don't even want to bother with the tone. Del High. Peoria worked with Steve modeling and construction for her brand new three season room. It was a special gift to myself. You know, I'm going to one in an area just. Felt before. Limitless, a secret weapon for the brain. Okay, so you get an idea what this radio can do. Actually, today's a little stronger night. We're having a lot of stations coming in better, which is great for this radio demoing it, but it usually has that crackling and that weird fading. So let's go right to the ICF Sony 19. This is a great radio to kind of compare to. This is a DSP radio. Start at the bottom. Uh, we'll go to the AM band here. Uh, the reason why this is a good radio is it runs on D batteries. It doesn't have AC input, but it gives a general idea what you can get for the money. These are similar to price. What one time this was twenty five bucks. I think they might be around thirty now. I'll have to check, but uh, they run about the similar pricing. That's why I brought this out. We're getting five thirty right away. Wow, it's pretty nice. That's Brampton, Ontario, four hundred forty one miles, two hundred fifty watts. But just do a quick little scroll through that thing here. Ethos? Is that some kind of... Simply download it to your phone, or go to... Marathon gas station on Chevy Edge. Schneider remains in... There's a tremendous price war among the major term life companies. That's kind of interesting that we've learned. Plus an extra 20% discount. Who's been more than anything else? Hundreds of thousands of chemicals just in Nature Valley sweet and salty bars are the indulgent break you deserve in your scam. So their computer programs actually listen to see if you picked up and if you say hello. That's the bit. 95 northbound road work had you under the speed limit. So why are more things in life customized? Dexter Fowler, Gensler is 2 and 1, a 2.45 ERA. Due through about mid-evening, temperatures lower 70s. Tomorrow we have partial sunshine, mainly evening shower. 20 through 23 years. Okay, it gives you a general idea with the Sony. Let's bring out one of its major, major competitors, the uh, this Tactoon one. Right? This one sometimes goes on sale for right around uh, the same price as the 604. So let's go ahead and turn this one on. Bottom the band. I think I like about this one, there's less noise involved. You get to use more volume. It says bass and treble there. If Select Quote isn't shopping for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. For your free quote, call 800 on this program. <laughs> has a little bit of 
is uh, on the monitor. They have yet to make a decision. This is going to be fun, whatever they decide to cry. There's a lobby with and having no insurance. I threatening injuries at 115th and Mission accident. But if you are, please. It's upon you, staring straight down and keenly through. Alvarez Musico. En 65, avec cette chanson, un homme qui est devenu son hymne. Mais les Québécois, 1945. In a that. And I got to speak to Saul when he was in town to headline Toronto's Poetry Slam final. Now... Born on one side and line on the other. A lot of music there. Look, I view myself... Okay, so you get a general idea. I was just trying to show you the differences. Now we're going to go quickly back to the tokens. And I just smashed a bunch of radios. This is my radio desk. <laughs> Stuff's flying because I got too many of these big radios running around. Okay, let's go back to this guy. Point, uh, we to earn more money than dealing with them. I've been mayor of Podunk, which I've run very poorly. And who knows better than I with the American people? So I think this guy's a what, 2%? 2%? This is a republic anyway. It's not a democracy. We don't need any of these. She was on the porch, sitting on the couch. You can say that. Uh, at some point, just about everybody went. It's scary when you think that August is less than an hour away, uh, according to the polls. And if you believe that uh, Joe Biden is the best person to run against Donald There's that crackle in the circuit. Again, it's not the speaker, it's part of the output. Leave that before this. Okay, so we're just going to turn it off there. I didn't really want to get too detailed in the band scan because it's just not impressed with the medium wave on this radio. So let's do final thoughts on the Retechus TR604. Should you buy this radio? No. I rarely uh, do that in my videos because I don't like wasting the time to produce them, but I know it helps you guys to know which radios to buy. And a lot of people ask to do this one. And yeah, it has a nice little form factor, holds 3D cell batteries. I mean, I do, I do like the size. And I love this dial. And I do like this fact that it does sound good on FM. But if it's going to have AM... I want to listen to AM, and this is just fatiguing to listen to. Now, this is during the night. Uh, during the day, it's it's awful, too. You get that crackle, that pop. Even on local stations, it just gets to be like, what is going on? And I'm just not impressed with that. Not impressed with the finish. This fingerprint magnet finish kind of reminds me of Sanjin. You know, I'm not going to knock it, but Sanjin does the same thing. Um, this volume knob at six way up. They could have moved the volume into the side here, which I would have loved, like the Sony has. So what that said is... No, would not recommend you go spend $28 on this radio. In fact, this one is going to be sent back. I don't feel like having this in my collection with that AM sounding as bad as it does. With that said, is I would recommend you get either a Sony ICF-19 if you don't need an AC input and you need D-cell batteries. This is a great go-to radio. Um, and also that Tactoon one, this one here. Um, I know it's odd and interesting, but it's still a Chinese radio, but does a better job than this Retechus as far as AM, AM band goes. Um, I just wish that this Retechus was better on AM band. It would be fantastic. But in my uh, judgment, go buy this radio. I'll put links below if you're interested in checking it out. Um, I think it's like a little bit more now. It might be like 36 bucks, 35 bucks. But at one time it was like $28 where it matched this one. So you could watch this one for some sales to come up. Definitely worth it. This one runs on 4D batteries. You can check out my review video. Um, I'm really impressed with this one. FM is really good. AM is really good. I believe the headphones is good in this one too. Um, and same with the Sony. You, you can't go wrong with, with either this or the Sony. Uh, the Sony, if you don't need it, AC input. But if you have to have AC, this is the only one I could pull out of my collection. It was a new radio. I took D cells and also had AC input similar to the Retechus. So there you go. That is my judgment. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a big like. You guys are awesome. This is definitely 
one of those ones where I wasn't expecting it to fail this badly on the EM band, just not happy um, with how it sounds. So it's unfortunate. But if you enjoyed the presentation anyway, please give me a big like. You guys are awesome too. If you like Retechus radios, I'll try to review them. I'm just not really digging them right now. I might wait. I know they have some fun little radios, but uh, we'll check them out in the future. But if you're wondering, hit subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of future videos if you like this brand or other brands I showed you. And of course, three comment below. You think about the Retechus. TR604, do you have one and deserves not have the medium wave problems mine has? Just let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.